Well, hey there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear, and today I have a little bit of a different video. In the past, you guys have seen me do a lot of reviews of individual axes, but we have acquired so many axes over the years um, with all the sheets and all the projects we've been doing with them. Um, today, I wanted to um, introduce the Condor hatchet to you guys. Um, it's gonna be kind of a slight review. It's not gonna be an in-depth full review. We've used this hatchet for quite a while now, and um, there's a video where you can see this hatchet being used um, you can go click you can go watch it um, by clicking the information button when we went out to a little uh, backpacking or kind of a bushcrafting trip with Vlad and we were using this one and we were using all three of these actually and what I wanted to do is I just wanted to uh, kind of compare these so this is the Condor hatchet and then we have here the Grand Force Brooks wildlife hatchet and this is the Grand Force Brooks outdoor axe now I have reviews of all of these and you can watch these separately um, Links will be in the information button or in the description. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in them. And I just wanted to compare these three because they're very similar in their size and kind of function. Um, but the prices are vastly different. So these are like over $100 and this one is under $50, I believe. So if you're, you know, kind of wondering which one you should get, there are so many hatches and axes out there. Um, we only try to get and buy the more higher, higher quality kind of uh, gear and axes because... Um, I believe, you know, and we think that these um, quality made tools are worth getting as opposed to just junk, as well as we really appreciate the, uh, you know, the wooden handles and just the old style kind of classic craftsmanship is just a lot more pleasant to work with than, you know, the newer plastic axes and such. But those are pretty cool as well, but um, might have reviews of those coming in the future as well. But what I wanted to do here basically is I'll talk a little bit about the Condor hatchet and then I'll show you in comparison to all of these. And, um, you know, you can kind of take a look for yourself. Um, also, the reason we do these videos partly is because we do make sheaths for them. And I wanted to show you the sheath that we have available for this one as well as the other ones. But right now, let's just go into the Condor hatchet real quick. I'll just show you some of the details of it, talk about it a little bit, and then we'll compare them. So the Condor hatchet is made in El Salvador, and it says right here, El Salvador. These are pretty nice quality... Um, steel on here we did have to put a little bit of an edge on it just when we got it it wasn't as nice as grand force brooks but you know that's why you pay quite a bit less for this um and then in terms of the handle and the fit of the handle to the axe head here it's actually surprisingly well done for the price um, it fit really well around here and back here it fits quite nicely really really snug fit um, from all the time we've been using this um, there is no movement between the head and the handle here at all they have a nice uh, wooden wedge and then a round metal wedge there the shape of the head is really similar to kind of the wildlife hatchet in terms of this um, little cheek here um, so that's kind of cool the angle of the edge here is a lot more uh, obtuse and so it doesn't bite as well and i'll talk a little bit more about that in the comparison section um, but in terms of this axe and its measurements and size, just for comparison, um, in terms of length here from there to here, it's 11 and a quarter inches. And the head is just a, maybe a 16th under four and a half. And the cutting edge is two and three quarters. This is nice, the one and three quarters here, because the, the more uh, contact we have between the metal and the wood, the stronger the connection. Some of the Hudson Bay pattern axes have this really small connection here for a big head. And I don't like the way those look and the way those, you know, the, the, because the less contact you have here, the more likely you're going to have movement and uh, release. Now, this one has a little bit less contact, you can see here. But Grand Forge Brooks is really just known for doing quality work with that part of it. Uh, the Condor hatchet weighs about one pound and two ounces, so it's quite light. Um, I showed you the handle size. I do like the fact that they have the palm swell here, so it actually feels really pretty comfortable in the hand. Um, not as big of, palm, of a palm swell as the Wildlife Hatchet. Um, very similar to the Outdoor Axe, though, so you can see that those are pretty comparable there. Um, you know, so if, especially if you know you have smaller hands, or if you're a girl, or a little kid, or smaller child, if they want their first little hatchet or axe, this is a really nice one for them because it's so small, and uh, it's very maneuverable, and you can do a lot of different work with this. You can do a little bit of splitting you can baton with it um it's, it chops pretty well we'll do a little bit of chopping here not too much um, we haven't had any problem with the edge rolling or getting dulled too quickly um, and 
it's it's a pretty decent little hatchet so for the price i would definitely recommend this if you're you know on a budget this is not a bad one to get um, other comparable hatchets outside of these three um, are like the husqvarna 13 inch hatchet but it's a lot more bulky and bigger than this one now the thing that uh, is interesting is that despite this being such a low priced little hatchet this is the sheath that it comes with and it's a leather really bulky robust sheath and i'm actually quite surprised um, that they did such a nice job on the sheath compared to like um, the uh, Grand Forge Brooks sheaths I think are even lower quality than this in some cases um, but it's just a very very sturdy one I don't know if everybody gets one like this but this one's actually not bad and it has a, a welt in there which is very important in a sheath and it has this little uh, lanyard hole and some rivets um, a couple of people have asked us though the reason actually we even got this ha um, little hatch is because somebody was requesting a sheath for this thing and so we ended up making one of course but let me just show you how this one fits so if you're just trying to slide this in you cannot do that it's going to run into that so you have to roll it in there and a lot of axe companies do that for some reason and i really just don't like that um because when you do that it, not always but on many of them it ends up cutting slowly through here as you do that um, i like it to kind of go in and just fall in there like that and that's what we have here with this one so we've been making sheets for many axes now and um no exception here so here's what this one looks like it's hand stitched saddle stitched it has a welt um, it's designed specifically for this hatchet and you can see that when we put this in you just put that up on, on here like that and you just push it right in now one thing you want to make sure is that your blade if you do get this hatchet and you want to buy our sheath make sure that you measure this distance right here which is very important um, so that it is the same length so from the toe of the cutting edge to where the handle enters the eye here and that is four and one eighth inches and you can go plus or minus about one eighth inch there and it should fit and then the length of the cutting edge is also very important so no more than two and uh, seven eighths that would be the max we'd allow there otherwise it just won't fit into the sheath and if you guys want to see how these are made we have a little bit a uh, little video on our channel of how uh, the sheets are made by our dad in our shop and actually we've all been kind of working and helping out up there so you can watch that video by clicking the information button and you'll see it in in there uh, if you want to check that out so these will be available on amazon as well as on our website and links will be in the description as well as the information button so you guys uh, also might know that we make little holsters for axes and uh, we have three sizes and they just go right on your belt like this and i missed a loop there when i put it on so obviously that'll go in there but uh, what's going on here is that this allows you to carry your little uh, hatchets or axes very, very nicely um, if you're out in the woods and you just you know you're going to gather wood or you're just walking through the forest and you have an axe with you this is just so nice um, you draw, just drop it right in there and it holds it really securely you can put it anywhere you want and uh, for the outdoor axe as well as the condor hatchet you would want to get the small size holster available on our website as well so check out the links if you're interested in that so let me also get into more of the comparison now between these three um, obviously they get a little bit longer here as we go so we go from our 11 inch roughly 11 and a half to a 13 and a half to a 14 and a half handle um, this one has a much thicker handle all, all around it's a little bit narrower here but you can still see if I grab it <clears throat> I have pretty large hands um, you know I'm still able to hold it pretty well there this one gives me a little bit more room and this one is a lot smaller so um, this palm swall on the wildlife hatch is probably the best of, of all of them you can really hold it quite securely and it's not going to slip out of your hand when you're chopping um, and the wildlife hatchet has the biggest contact area here with the handle you can see the large handle eye as well as this length here is the best it's, it's close to this one though in terms of you know relatively speaking how big the head and the handle is very very similar so it's a really nice little hatchet on the outdoor axe here we have a little bit less contact but we have this nice collar to protect it from uh, breaking if you're going to use it to split and you can baton with all of them in terms of the angle of the heads you can see here um, that the outdoor axe has a little bit wider angle here allows you to split a little bit better this is more of a chopper and the condor hatchet is actually kind of i'd say it's pretty close to the outdoor axe in terms of its uh, thickness here but it is a lot or a little bit more uh, obtuse here on the actual angle of the very edge here this is a lot more acute here so it's all it's going to penetrate your wood a little bit better um, and that's one complaint i have about this little hatchet is that <clears throat> it doesn't bite the wood as, as as good 
And so I'll show you here a little bit. We'll do a little bit of a chopping test and I'll show you how uh, this one bites as opposed to some of these others. Okay, so here we have the Grand Forks Brooks Wildlife Hatchet and the Condor Hatchet. So I wanna do a little chopping test. I talked about the angles on them. They're very, very similar, um, but just slightly different. And so let's just see how they perform in terms of chopping into some branches here. I'm gonna start actually with the Condor Hatchet. And so I'll just kind of chop through this little piece of wood and you can uh, hopefully appreciate. I'm doing one-handed chopping here. So just kind of watch how it bites through that wood. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to the wildlife hatchet and you can watch this one. So it's a little bit heavier, a little bit longer handle and a different angle on the blade. So it's a very subjective test, but just from the feel of it, from using them for a certain amount of time, I can tell that this one, the uh, Grand Forge Brooks bites in a lot nicer and just penetrates the wood a lot deeper. This one kind of bounces off a little bit. Um, and also with batoning, it's a lot easier to get this one started into a hard piece of wood as opposed to this one. It's a little bit more resistant. So here's a piece of wood here again. So this is a wildlife hatchet. You can put it in like that. Here's the condor. You can see I applied about the same force there, carrying it in. And you can just see the difference of the bite here as opposed to the to that one. So that is the difference. It is a very nice little hatchet though, um, especially for somebody who's maybe just starting out and trying to, you know, do small work. You can do some bushcraft and you can do some feather sticks and carving with it, but um, not as pleasant to use as, of course, the Grand Forge Brooks. So hopefully that gives you some idea. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching that review and hopefully you kind of, you know, picked up on some details and maybe something you needed to know or wanted to know about these little hatchets and axes. So this was mostly about the Condor hatchet. Um, please leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below. Um, check the description for more information as well as links to any of our products. Thank you guys so much for all of your support for everything you guys do um, for our channel and our family and we hope uh, that you will have blessings in your life as well. And um, Praise God for everything he provides for you and for us, and we hope to see you in the next video. This has been Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear.